Forge's Pledge is the new Solar Energy 390 RPM Pulse, and I've liked these. I've always found these pulses to be fairly balanced, not great, but not bad. They ride that midline perfectly, and I always have thought of them as the BR of Destiny, like the Battle Rifle from Halo. Currently and in the past, I've seen people struggling with PvP. They ask for some recommendations, and I point them in the direction of a 390 a lot of the time. Because they're forgiving, they can achieve a TTK with headshots and body shots. Are they the best? No, but they're definitely not the worst. There was a reason Bygones caught on. It wasn't the best weapon, but it was consistent. Out of these two new Iron Banner weapons, the sidearm is great, and I'm going to gush over that thing once I review it this week. It is awesome, but this pulse, I have an issue with this pulse, and I'm just going to get it out of the way. It's actually probably going to be the majority of the review. And here's a warning for you. What I'm about to show you, you can't unsee, so once you know it, you're going to know and you're going to see it. If you love this weapon, I am sorry. Now this is a personal thing, it might not mean anything to you, but it pretty much makes me hate it. It's borderline unusable. Here are some clips of some other pulse rifles, and you see some familiar ones, Messenger, No Time, Hailing, Last Perdition. Now I want you to pay attention to something. Look at that reticle, as it's moving, as it's shooting, how it just flows across the screen. Hitting that burst, riding the wall with the burst, very clean. It does this with all of them, and it's what you would expect to see. With these weapons, all weapons, they do have a little sway when you're strafing and aiming. Nothing crazy, it's a shifted momentum. And now you're seeing a little circle around that reticle. And you can see that little momentum shift when you're moving directions, or quick changes to a direction. You can see that reticle just a little bit behind for that sway and that momentum. Again, happens with hand cannons, sidearms, all of them, it's just natural for gun feel. I'm a player that uses their strafe to aim. I aim with the left stick mostly and I make small adjustments with the right stick. Very left stick heavy with my aiming. And I'll get into M and K in a moment, but this theme, all weapons do it, but then we get to Forge's Pledge. The momentum shift, the changing of direction is very, very dramatic. I mean, I look at these things on weapons and with this one, it just felt way off. Now maybe this is how it's supposed to be, and if it is, it's a bad thing. If it's not how it's supposed to be, maybe something's just off. Kind of like how some weapons had screen shake or muzzle flash, something like that. But here's the circle overlay on it. I haven't seen a weapon do this, this severely. The only other one that I can remember was a recent one, it's Grid Skipper. And in that review, I almost talked about it, because it does this too, but nowhere near like this. It's not as dramatic, it is not as much, but the issue is when you start shooting. With this pulse, when you move, basically it's moving your center way off, your center point, your aim, like a full reticle off. It is out there, so you don't really have a center point. And with all those other pulses where, where it was hitting the wall, very smooth, climbing up the wall, it doesn't do that. It's a little bit behind of where that reticle is. And when you turn fast, like say you flick in a direction, and I just slowed this way down. This is just turning. I don't want to make you dizzy, but it's fairly uniform. This is cold denial. You kind of see that reticle right in the, in the middle. But when you do that movement with Forge's Pledge, like what is that? It's putting the reticle like on the crossbar of the reticle lens. I haven't seen too many weapons at all, like at all do this, this severe. So with things like hitting a corner, like a head glitch or stairs, it feels very natural with other pulses, but this thing's all over the place because that shift of momentum moving it left and moving it right, then it being off center of where you're aiming. So if this thing doesn't feel good to you or it just feels kind of off like a thousand percent, this is it. But then again, it might not bother you. With that being said, like, however, if someone is right in front of me and their, their hitbox is uniform and they're not really moving too much, I could dot them up and down, no problem, it feels great. But the issue is long movements with aiming and strafing. Or when you're looking in a direction and say someone's on B flag, you're already aiming down sights and then when you start aiming on them, it does that very dramatic momentum shift. And then once you get there, when you start strafing, like it's all over the place. And it gets a little bit worse when you're flinched because when you're moving and your reticle is already off and way out there, and as you're shooting, it's bouncing. It's just, it's not a good look. This is also the same exact way with mouse and keyboard here on Steam. The same awkward reticle movement and placement. And again, the shots are essentially way behind your reticle and not where the center of your screen is or where you think that you're aiming. And honestly, I'm just kind of sick of using this weapon. So it's really late. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to pick up this commentary in the morning. Okay, slept on it. New audio. Good morning. I played three games with it again and I haven't budged. It can do well, but man, it just feels horrible. It feels off for that reason. When I get in gunfights and importantly, when I lose a gunfight, I feel it happening. And this is one of those things I was debating on even bringing up, because again, once you see it, you can't unsee it. You're going to know that it's there, but I now want to move on to perks, perk combinations. It has a locked in 1.7 times zoom. Most pulses are 1.8, so it's a little bit closer up. It has barrels on it since it has a set scope. Now, as far as the base stats, it has the second lowest range out of the 390s and the lowest handling stat. It has a bad recoil direction of 51. It pulls to the left pretty hard. I do recommend finding some sort of recoil direction help. Arrowhead chambered a counterbalance mod. 
I'm running counterbalance, it brings it to 66 recoil. It does a lot better with that on it. As far as the range, given its zoom factor with what it has, it lives within the ranges of 31 and a half to 36 meters. 36 meters is max range, full bore range, masterwork, the works. Really think palindrome here. It's pretty much the same exact range band as palindrome, but with it being a pulse rifle, it has better aim assist at range, better damage drop off at range, meaning it's gonna hold damage a little bit more than a hand cannon as you start falling back further from your target. Barrel wise, I would go recoil direction, and if you don't get one, just slot in best available for overall stats. It could be small bore, it could be extended barrel, just the most stats that you can place on the pulse. Magazine wise, PvP, Accurized, or Steady Rounds, and in PvE those work well as far as feel, but you're mostly going to be looking for a pure magazine perk like Appended. For the perk combinations, notably, I don't think there's any Iron Banner perks on them. No Reach, no Grip, which is odd. But in the first column, Zen Moment, Auto Loading Holster, Quick Draw, Surplus, Tunnel Vision, Heating Up. Second perk column, Wellspring, Snapshot, Rampage, Multi-Kill Clip, Unrelenting, Elemental Capacitor. Now, I don't have one, but Zen Moment might actually help the problem I went over in the first half of the video, because Zen Moment removes the reticle bounce and the weapon shake with repeated hits, so that actually might help it. But with that being said, for PvE, we are within a season with Unstoppable Pulse, so it can be used. It's going to help with solar shields. If you don't have a good solar pulse, you need to get one of these. And I'm not going to say that this is the best solar pulse, because I think that spot goes to Stars and Shadow. It has Disruption Break, Vorpal, tons of useful perks. I use it a ton. But if you don't have a Stars and Shadow or something similar, look for a couple perk combinations. Auto-loading or Surplus with Wellspring, Rampage, or Multi-Kill Clip, or Heating Up with Rampage, Wellspring, or Multi-Kill Clip. PvP-wise, Tunnel Vision, Multi-Kill Clip is the main draw because those perks work together. Get a kill reload, you get damage, you get buffs all around. Me personally, I would go Heating Up Multi-Kill Clip or Heating Up Rampage. All footage in the background is Heating Up Rampage. When Heating Up is on a weapon, I'm all in, I'm going for that perk, because it really is a game-changing perk. You get massive boost to your accuracy and stability, which is a great thing for a pulse rifle, grouping that burst together and making shots just land and feel great. And lastly, Surplus with Multi-Kill Clip or Rampage. There are a couple perks that are build-specific, Unrelenting and Elemental Capacitor, so both are niche, pick them up if you want them for a build. And like I said, I don't necessarily think it's a horrible weapon at base, it's just that other thing that it does with its reticle, that's what makes it bad. So if it's fixed or reworked, I might come back and play with it, but with how it is right now, no. I'm never pulling it back out of my vault. In PvE, it's just a tool you can use for champions, it does its job there, and in the Crucible, nothing spectacular, midline, middle of the pack, .9 TTK, 5 crit, 2 body can be elevated to a two burst with Rampage or Multi-Kill Clip. You know exactly what you're getting with these. And in the case of Forge's Pledge, it definitely isn't the second coming of Bygones. What it is, is going to be up to you. It might be your new favorite weapon. If it is, then you do you. But for me, I have major issues with it. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming. Use the link down below in my code COOL at checkout for a discount. Let's talk about the Forge's Pledge down below. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.